Let's take a trip to Lake Havasu, Arizona. When you finally get to the marina, you have to go pretty slow. That's because there's people around. This zone is called the no wake effect. So as you see that we are not throttling the engine and we're going really slow until we get to the main lake. We finally made it to the main lake and as you see that we're going a lot faster. This is where you can throttle the engine and go as fast as you want. I love taking my jet skis out to Lake Havasu because there's so much to do out there. Now Lake Havasu is in Arizona. This lake is called Lake Havasu City. It's right outside of Las Vegas, about an hour and a half away. Las Vegas has a lot of lakes. You can do Lake Mead, you can do Echo Bay, you can do Six Mile Cove. You can also visit Willow Beach and Reflection Bay. There's also Boulder Basin and also Lake Las Vegas. A lot of people didn't know that Las Vegas has water, but Las Vegas shares the Colorado River. They share it with California, with Utah, with Arizona. This river flows through the Grand Canyon. So come with me as we ride. So now that we're out of the wake zone, we are way out into the lake and we can go as fast as we want. That's my daughter ahead of us and she's hitting that jet ski at like 55 miles per hour. We're going about 35 to 40 miles per hour. So now I'm about to crank this jet ski up and go about 55 miles per hour. It's always safe to bring your cell phone out there with you just in case you have an emergency and need to call for help. I purchased a waterproof case that I can wear around my neck. And as you see, I'm having trouble with it right now. I didn't have it around my neck, I had it around my arm. So I had a little bit of trouble trying to get the video. If you go to Lake Havasu, make sure you pack up a bunch of water with you. The temperature out here today was 121 degrees, but on the lake, you don't feel it. Once I got off the lake, I docked my jet skis. And as you see, I am extremely hot. At 121 degrees outside, I can use ice on my body and not feel cold. My body temperature was so hot, I had to use blocks of ice to cool my body down. Me and my youngest daughter got to the marina before my middle child did. She took the jet ski out into the different coves and caves. The Colorado River is filled with coves and caves and adventures. So you can take your jet ski out as far out as you want and go explore. As you saw on the lake, my daughter was hitting that jet ski up to 55, 60 miles per hour. She was gone. She was out racing speedboats but she's well-trained on the jet ski and she's well-trained on the water. So she finally made it back to the marina and now it's time to ice this body. As you see, I even had to do my legs. I was hot. I was so hot, I had steam coming off of me. From here, we'll cool off, ice our bodies down, and go get some ice cream. Now again, this is Lake Havasu. Arizona is extremely hot. Vegas gets hot, but it just feels different. So now we're gonna walk the pier. 121 degrees. <laughs> Out here in Arizona. Man. It's hot, so I definitely recommend that you put on your best bathing suit and go out there and enjoy that weather. Today I chose my Tommy Hilfiger bikini and I'm unapologetic in it. Let's get one more view of that derriere. Yep, it's still back there. I always say I'll never be over the hill because I'm too darn tired to climb it. But I'm absolutely rocking this bikini and making heads turn. Unapologetic. Now we're gonna get some ice cream and snow cones. This is one of the shops that we like to frequent. They sell every ice cream and shave ice underneath the sun. I'm gonna get what I always get, Rocky Road. You can never go wrong with Rocky Road. Almonds and marshmallows with chocolate, can't go wrong there. So I'm gonna enjoy this ice cream. The sun has dried me off and we'll hang out for a little bit before we pack up and load up these jet skis and head back to Las Vegas. When you come to Lake Havasu, this area is called the London Bridge. The London Bridge sits at the marina and it is draped with hotels and resorts all around it. There's restaurants and ice cream parlors all at the marina. You can't go wrong. 
So while the kids are cooling off and I'm taking a little break before we load up and take these jet skis back to Las Vegas, we're gonna just enjoy this ice cream and then head back home. There's several ways to get to Lake Havasu from Las Vegas. We took the 95 through Henderson into Arizona, then took it to Route 66 in California, straight on into Havasu.